Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another good example of how to work with differentials. And again, differentials are really handy techniques to use uh, to find how things are changing relative to each other. Now let's see how that works. So they give us a, a square and they ask us how much will the area of that square change if the sides change by 1%. So let's draw a square. Here it is. There's a square, side x, side x. And we can then say that the area is equal to x squared. If we now take the derivative of that area with respect to x, we get dA dx is equal to 2x. Now, what does dA dx mean? Well, dA dx is equal to the derivative of a with respect to x. That means how fast is a changing as x changes? That's really what it means. So make a change in x and you have a corresponding change in a. To really illustrate a little bit more, we're going to put the dx on the other side. In other words, we're going to multiply both of these sides by dx. And so we get dA is equal to 2x dx. And so dA and dx are what we call differentials. which means that if x changes by a small amount, dx, a will change by some small amount. And the relationship between that, of course, they will not change by the same amount. The relationship is then determined by the 2x, which is the derivative of a with respect to x. So tell me how much x changes, and I will, by multiplying this times 2x, I will let you know how much a changes. And that's the beauty of differentials. Of course, it has to be done at a particular value for x, and a certain amount of dx. So now they tell us that dx changes by 1%. So if x is 1, then dx would be 1% of that. So we can say that dA, when x is equal to 100%, and dx is equal to 1%, because 1% is 1 100 of 100%, then this is equal to 2 times 1, because of course 100% of anything is the whole thing, 1 times 0 0.01, which is 1% of x. So therefore dA is therefore equal to 2 times 1 times this, or 0 0.02. So that means if x changes by 1%, a changes by 0.02, which is 2%. And that's how nice this works with differentials. It's so straightforward and so easy once we get our brain past the concept of what differentials are in the first place because they're so foreign to us typically, but that's what they can do for us. If x changes by 1%, a will change by 2%. Hmm. And that's the answer. All right, I hope that makes sense to you. Let me come up with a few more examples so that hopefully after a while you kind of see that and go, all right, now I'm getting it. So hopefully you'll get there soon. Watch a few more of these videos.